Hey guys, Wilson here of the Shea and Wilson Show. Today I'm going to be playing the special episode of The Walking Dead, 400 Days. So, I won't waste any time, we'll get straight into it. I've been looking forward to this, as I know you have been. And off we go. Apparently this is supposed to bridge between the first season and the upcoming second season. I'd be happy with for some uh, information on what happened to Clementine, but I'm not going to get my hopes up on that. I know those faces. Took a bite out of freedom there. That is an ugly ass baby. Detroit. Oh, I'm in control. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to do this crap. I was hoping not to have to click anything. Oh, I see. I'm probably picking the characters that I play as. Oh, I picked badly. Wait. Jamming. I probably picked totally wrong. Hey, Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Not really. Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? Makes him adorable like Clementine. Oh, how do I select again? I don't know. I know it's changed me, well, all of us, but at this age, for her, I don't know. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Nice chord changes. Hey. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? If Roman approves it, I don't see why not. Seems like fun. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. The guy's got the face of a friendly looking rapist. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on I the trust no garden, one. we're having fresh soup tonight. It's got okay, people in it. Let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Uh-uh. I don't want you messing with those unless we're in danger, okay? I'll take care of those later. Fine. Shell, when you get a sec, meet Safety me out back. Safety first, people. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. <laughs> I was not looking forward to this part, guys. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Ooh, butt right there. There we go. 
Hey, Becca, think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. <laughs> Lucky I wasted all that time going there. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. What? Nothing. Or is it? I wouldn't give her a cup of coffee in the morning. This hasn't worked in a long time. Hmm. I was hoping, I hope at least with the second season that they really fix the... These. Make sure they all work. The crappy... You know what I'm trying to say, I guys. I thought to bottle our water before it ran out. But you gotta click a corner of someone's head just to talk to them and weird stuff like that. Smells good. You just couldn't help but fuck around with it, could you? I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. Ooh, Looks like you need here. to, though. Thank God we have a garden now. Oh, God, you scared me. He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. And you're the food. <laughs> I feel bad for it. Yeah, well, at least we found a way for him to be useful. You know, uh... Your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. I know, I just want her to have a little more time to be a kid. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. Yeah, what's okay. that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Let's talk to the walker. He doesn't feel like talking. Let's play some b-ball. Come on. else to do out here we go back in <laughs> oh, that was a dick Jesus, move don't kid. ever fucking do that again that Whoa, was a dick move. what's your problem I do this all the time you don't get all pissed off I'm sorry it's it's just the watchdogs I'm choosing all the gay I choices I should have just pimp slapped her a puppy yeah, I guess it just got to me, you know? It was, it was so little. <laughs> you don't think about babies anymore, but after a while you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah, I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... 
Man, yes, a dog yes. would be a freaking liability. Maybe in if this Clive world. dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell, Becca, something's going on outside. Oh, what is it? Shit I don't know. On. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. <laughs> you can't elaborate any more than something bad. <laughs> a bad Come thing. here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. This month. It was so care to be fair. Jesus. Largum. My God. Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck it's in. The second break in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last You're time surprised? You felt like a they got away with more medicine fence. than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. And send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't take the risk of letting him go, but why not let him stay? I guess that would be okay. We could always use I'm more hands two paragon. keeping I'm gonna the get my ass secure. Secure. We don't need any more people here. And look at him. How is he he gonna... can't even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. You're just a racist. <laughs> here we go. That's racist. Are you judging him based on race? Of course not. <laughs> But come on. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything uh, starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that the cheese. goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Hey, Vernon. Not trusting strangers. He made Vernon, us beat Vernon. up that guy with a mustache and steal his boat. We did oh. that. I've regretted it ever since. Ah, that's who they are. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. Thought I didn't even catch I agree. on. Keeping him here is not an option. These are the guys who, who beat be a up. drain on our resources. What's his name and took his boat? Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. I'm really gonna we have to get better at learning guy characters' names. And take our chances, or we kill him. You're right. It's got to be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing boat here, Shell. Oh. What's it gonna be? <laughs> Gotta be a paragon, I can't help it. set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. You might die, though. Just say no. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, what do give you him some food. When, three or four cans. Just as a gesture of good faith. Get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. Oh, ho, ho. oh, threats. He's so sincere. Do you have any fours? Nope. 
Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing Whoops. to do. <laughs> anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secure. My bad. You know that's impossible, right? Well, you got a really annoying voice. Roman hasn't taken any chances. Then I should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They won't. I'm surprised they get break-ins. Damn it, Becca. Shell. I need to talk to you. I don't end up dead. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. I'll be waving a gun around. Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. What was that all about? Maybe he found out about the boards? Shit. You think so? If he did, I won't say anything. But you better stay away from there for a while. Okay. Scare tactic. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. I miss Lee. How come no one's watering these? Well, because that is really... Oh, is that their garden? Psst. You got time to be painting. You're not taking this seriously. Paint. And of course, that guy that probably died. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing and then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Some people Stephanie. don't die. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Oh, <laughs> oh crap. She had a bag with most of our ammo and medicine inside. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? So you want my permission? Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now, and I need to know that you're with us a hundred percent. Jeez. Let's talk to her first, see if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Tell her some motherfuckers had to get got. <sighs> I'm 
Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? We're all in trouble. What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. She was kind of fine, too. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? I mean, these kids are always way too gung-ho about the killing part. She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be her last mistake. Becca, Dang. Stephanie is your friend. Kid going Was crazy. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. Are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't. Just want to get it over with. Oh. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. Why? We don't have a choice. Why expend that kind of this effort? This is who we are now. Uh, I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. Oh. No, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm gonna let my little. Shouldn't ever do. have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. Well, weighing it out, safety of the sisters should come first. I don't ever want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. Sorry. Me too. Well, that's depressing. We're off to a good start. All right, well, we'll leave the episode there and we'll catch you guys next time. You know, playing this, I'm starting to think if I ever find myself in a post-apocalyptic wasteland, I'm going to become a horrible person. And I guess that's what's fun about these games. Anyway, uh, we'll take care until then, and we'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.